Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to make a fun soap using this fragrance. It's called Chardonnay Wine from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And for the liquid portion, I'm going to be using Chardonnay wine <laughs> for a portion of it. I'm going to be simmering it down to get some of the alcohol dissipated off of it so that it will behave well with the sodium hydroxide. I'll bring you along as I prep the wine um, for my color swirl. I just want this to have little wispy, just lovely swirls to go along with the Chardonnay wine theme. Sounds luxurious to me. Um, I'm going to use Shimmer Gold Mica from Nurture Soap, which is sparkly and pretty and has a goldy yellow tint. And then also, just to kind of bump up the color swirl interest, I'm gonna use this French Silk Stocking from Wholesale Supplies Plus, which sort of matches my sweater. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, I just thought these two looked really beautiful together. Um, and I won't do a lot of color, just a little, just to make it lovely, luxurious looking. I might do a little sugar sprinkle on top or sugar pearls, I haven't, thought through the top yet. I'm gonna wait and see how this behaves. This fragrance says that it doesn't cause discoloration or acceleration um, from the reviews. And so I'm hoping it'll behave. And if it does, I'll decide what to do with the top as we get there. Maybe I'll pipe some rosettes, I'm not sure. We'll keep our options open and see how it behaves with the wine. Alcohol, uh, although I will be um, simmering off the alcohol, it can cause, because of the sugars, natural sugars in wine, um, it can cause your soap to heat, which can uh, accelerate trace. So I'm just gonna proceed with caution, see how it goes, but uh, let me get everything pulled together and uh, get my Chardonnay in the saucepan, and I'll bring you along as we prep that for the soap and making the lye solution. Let's make some wine soap. Maybe have a glass afterwards too when we relax. <laughs> So here is my wine that I have simmered down. Um, the battery on my camera went out, so you didn't get to watch the simmering part, but all it was was I poured this entire bottle, and this is a very inexpensive Chardonnay, because, you know, I'm gonna be basically boiling it down, so I didn't wanna use the good stuff. But anyway, this entire bottle of Chardonnay went in the saucepan, brought it up to a very low boil, and then turned it down to simmer for, gosh, maybe 40 minutes or so, and, it is about half in the volume of what it was. So here is my wine concentrate, and I'm gonna measure this off, and I'll just top off the um, whatever ounces I need to bring it up to the correct weight with some distilled water to uh, bring this back up to the proper amount of liquid, but there is my wine. <laughs> so let me get everything pulled together and we'll move forward with this soap. So I've got my butters and oils all melted and cooling off. I have the fragrance oil in here and now I'm gonna add my additives, which is kale and clay. Uh, and this is a two tablespoon measure and it's a little bit heaping, so nice rounded two, teaspoon, two tablespoons of kale in, and here is colloidal oats. Again, a little bit rounded on that. And I just love how these additives feel in soap and I put them in almost everything. So I'm gonna get these dry ingredients blended in here and let them sort of sit and absorb and then we'll come back and uh, get our wine lye solution going uh, in here. <laughs> Can't wait to do this, it smells great in the studio. It smells like a um, luxurious happy hour. All right, I've got everything here uh, prepped and ready to go, and I wanted to show you, this is my Chardonnay lye solution, and um, because the wine, when I distilled it down, it got to be like a golden color, and it heated up, so this is very um, orangey yellow right now from the heat reaction with the lye, so I may add a little titanium dioxide in my batter after I split off my colors. We'll see how it's looking, but uh, it smells fantastic. And I wanted to show you what I finally decided to do on top here. Um, I'm going to attempt to do little grape clusters with the colors, the kind of champagne colored uh, grapes. And so I have, and I want to do a little grape vine. So I have a round uh, tip here for doing a vine. Um, and then I'm going to switch that out with my little leaf tip here. You can see just a standard little leaf tip. So I'll do vines and leaves. And then for my grape cluster, I have a little bit bigger, just a plain circle to do little grape dots. And for the green that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Martini Olive from Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is beautiful. I thought it would make a wonderful grapevine color. So I've got my bags, frosting bags, got my oils all ready to go. And uh, 
in my wine solution. So I've got the distilled wine uh, and I topped off with distilled water to bring it up to the volume I needed and I dissolved a tablespoon of cane sugar in here. Before I added my lye crystals, I added tussa silk fibers and some sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in this magical little pot. <laughs> and let's get going. And I am hoping with um, the wine and everything that it won't heat up too quickly and uh, accelerate trace. This fragrance oil had great reviews that it didn't discolor or um, cause acceleration or separation. So I'm really hoping that that is true. Get this all stirred into emulsion, split off for our colors. And I do have my colors in the pots here. Um, already dispersed in a little distilled water just to make the mixing easier. So it is turning a little bit of a beigey orange, but I think that's just from the sugars of the wine that I had distilled down. And it's still, even after I boiled off the alcohol, it smells really nice. So I'm very, I'm excited to see. If you like the scent of, you know, wine, then I think you will like this. Alright, so it's been almost an hour waiting for this to firm up, so I can tell you that the Chardonnay wine fragrance is a wonderful non-accelerating fragrance. It's easy to work with, so anyway, um, I'm waiting for piping consistency, and I think I'm just about there. It's hanging onto the side here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this in the piping bags and get going with the top, and I do have my soap mold on a little turntable here, which just makes getting at all angles easy. So let's get moving forward.
All right, it's the next day. Let's get into this wonderful Chardonnay wine soap. I am so tickled with the top. And it took forever for my piping bags to firm up enough to pipe this. So this was a very slow moving fragrance, which is, you know, very nice. But when you're waiting for your piping bags to firm up, it can be a bugger. Let's get into these. I love how the top came out and the Chardonnay wine scent is very true to the description. It's exactly what it smells like. Very wispy little swirls. These are so pretty. The batter's a bit crumbly, so um, these bars have a different consistency than I'm used to. Not sure what's going on with that, if that's from the wine, but um, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> 